a classic 1924 short story, The Most Blank Game. Ben. What's dangerous? Right. <laughs> Oh, with some uh, dangerous, right? <laughs> Tonight was the first night of Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions featuring Green Bay's own Ben Chan. Yes, the St. Norbert College professor won two games last week to advance to this point. Fox 11's Brady Meyer went to Chan's watch party tonight in Alloway to catch up with the local celebrity. This person was the winner of the first game of this season's Jeopardy Tournament of Champions finals. The answer, who is Ben Chan? The Green Bay native who won nine games last year and is once again showing off on the Alex Trebek stage. Watching it is like reliving it. Um, different perspective when you're in the game. You know, your mind is elsewhere. You're focused on that. And watching it here, it's like, you it's like experiencing it as I normally <laughs> experience Jeopardy as a viewer. And uh, all the feelings come back. On Tuesday, the first in a best of seven series aired. This was actually taped. Um, the same day that all the semifinals were taped. So I was just like trying to have fun, keep myself awake. Remember like, <laughs> you're not, you're probably trying harder isn't gonna help because you're so tired. The matchup pit Chan against three game champion Yogesh Rot and six game champion Troy Meyer. Yogesh and Troy know a lot. <laughs> it's fair to say they know more than me actually. But um, so it's very surprising to be able to come back from third on that. It was a come from behind victory for Chan, who went into final jeopardy trailing Meyer by over $10,000. But for the friends, families, and supporters inside Zambaldi Beer, that made the winning moment even sweeter. First time after COVID that I really started see, see I've seen people that I didn't see, haven't seen since five years ago because of COVID. And the, this has really been like, the most amazing reintroduction to the world that you could have. Chan will definitely return to the Jeopardy stage Wednesday and Thursday. As a first win three series, the finals could extend beyond that. Stay tuned, it's going to be a great finals. In Alloway, Brady Meyer, Fox 11 News. For tomorrow night's game number two, Chan has a watch party planned at the Good Place in Oconto. Chan says he hasn't uh, planned anything beyond that at this point. You can also catch him in action right here on Jeopardy on Fox 11 after Fox 11 News at 5. And you can watch Brady's full interview with Chan tonight on fox11online.com. Just look for Brady's story on our homepage. Congrats. I, uh, how do you feel right now? <laughs> it's good. I mean, the funny thing is it's really watching it is like reliving it. Um, different perspective when you're in the game. You know, your mind is elsewhere. You're focused on that. And watching it here, it's like, you wa it's like experiencing it as I normally <laughs> experience Jeopardy as a viewer. And uh, all the feelings come back, right? So, um, yeah, that was, that was a very surprising one for me. You know, Yogesh and Troy know a lot. <laughs> it's fair to say they know more than me, actually. But um, so it's very surprising to be able to come back from third on that. What, uh, take us back to in, in <laughs> the actual time when this happened. Yeah. Like, so when you were one game in, what were you feeling at that point in time? Oof. So you saw, like, I think someone commented and said, like, I was, oh, you're, like, so enthusiastic. You're having fun. This was actually taped um, the same day that all the semifinals were taped. So there are three semifinals taped in the morning, and this was the first game in the afternoon. Tomorrow will be the second game of the afternoon. So I was just, like, trying to have fun, keep myself awake. Remember, like, <laughs> you're not, you're probably trying harder isn't going to help because you're so tired. Um, and so try less hard and have fun and see where it goes. And that's, it worked out today. Yeah. In the real time, what was going through your mind when uh, <laughs> Troy hit the Daily Doubles? Oh, you, I think you could, you might, I saw my reactions when he hit the first one um, and, and got it right to, with a true Daily Double. I basically like looked over to the side like and <laughs> took like Charlie Brown, you know, walking off thinking it's over. But then when he missed the second one, I was like, oh, that's big. That makes a big difference and you know, I'm still alive. So yeah, exhilarating really in real time also. <laughs> So obviously a lot of people here and yeah, a lot right. of excited people. What's it like to just see the community support? No, it's great. You know, I think um, I, I was just reminiscing today, like we all, COVID changed everything for a lot of us. And, um, you know, this was going to LA was one thing, but coming back to watch with everybody is really the first time 
after COVID that I really started seeing. See, I've seen people at NC haven't seen since five years ago because of COVID. And this has really been like the most amazing reintroduction to the world that you could have. So yeah, it's been great. And so we have at least two more of these, as many as six more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like planned for the rest of them? Yeah, so I'll be up at the good place in Oconto tomorrow is my friend's bowling alley. So if you're up in Oconto, um, we'll be watching uh, up at the good place. Um, so that's that's as that's as far out as I have planned currently. And uh, I know you're. Uh, this is totally different, I yeah, guess. Yeah. But I know you're throwing up the first pitch now at the Brewers. <laughs> what's, that, what's that like? April twenty seventh. Basically, I um, I volun volunteered myself there, and uh, they they said yes. Um, I'm from New York. It's a Yankees game. I'm actually a Mets. My Mets were my first team. Uh, my Brewers are my team. So that'll be cool. Um, uh, that's great. I played baseball actually for a long time, so um, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, anything else you got to tell you? I think that's all I have. Um, no, just thank you so much for coming out. Um, uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a great finals. <laughs> <laughs>